Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We are back with another Latoya Sports Rant. Um, life has been kind of crazy, so yeah. we are two weeks behind, but <laughs> we're going to do two games in one. And guess what, guys? Two victories. Two victories. One against the uh, Bucks, the Buccaneers, the so-called GOAT. <laughs> And one against, um, as my wife would call them, the arrogant, non-humble Cam mm-hmm. Newton yes, and the Carolina Panthers. Yes. Uh, two wins, back-to-back wins, back-to-back really, really good games from uh, Taylor Heineke. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'll let Miss Mitchell take over. Yes. So I'm very, very impressed, number one, especially with the game what, last week. And I'm pretty sure people were going in trying to, you know, count us out and we're probably on the fence about, you know, if we were going to win or not. But I was surprised. And so I'm happy. And then especially with the game today. Oh, yeah, I'm very, very happy. Um just a couple of takeaways, you know, they, it's almost like they're just a whole different, a whole different team out there. Right. You know, um, it's like, who are these, you know, these players, you know, where do they come from? You know, these last couple of games. So, you know, today, very good game. Yeah. And yes, Cam Newton did come out there flexing a little too hard and got humbled really quick because <laughs> we came back and laid the smack down. So um just happy to see that they won, you know, back to back. And I believe we play the Seahawks next week, Monday. So that should be pretty interesting. But I mean, anything is possible. Anything is, is possible, you know, um, games that we should have lost. We won. So I'm happy, you know, that our team pulled this off. Happy for Taylor Heineke. Happy for the whole team. You know, sad to, you know, see um, Chase Young and what happened with him. But, you know, he'll bounce back and, you know, all the other players, you know, that are on IR right now. So wish them a speedy recovery. And then next season. Is it true that Montez Sweat has a broken jaw? Uh, I'm not sure, honey. Did you hear that on the on the on the on any sports news? I think that's what I heard. Yeah. Well, I know, I know he's injured, but I don't quite exactly know what's wrong. Not a, a broken jaw. That's of course that's some serious. Well, like I said, you know, uh, speedy recovery, and I hope that they, you know, come back twice as strong next season, you know. So, but like I said, anything is possible. You know, we have, uh, we still got what this month, and we got December, and I think what the first full week of January, you know, for the rest of the season. So we shall see, you know, and, you know, we're in, in what third place. Uh, are we still, are we still in third place? Or are we in second still? Uh, I'm pretty sure you're in third still. Mm-hmm. Uh, the uh, Eagles. Yeah. I forgot the Eagles won that. But guys, I'm um, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty happy. You know, I know it's uh, gonna be victory. Well, victory today, but tomorrow tomorrow officially be victory Monday. So, what do you think? How how do you feel about the rest of the season and everything? I mean, y'all beat the Buccaneers. Now, yes, the Buccaneers are, are beatable, uh-huh. but nobody, nobody thought that y'all was going to beat them. Mm-hmm. Um, 
if y'all can beat Tom Brady and that powerful offense and, you know, make that defense look a little sketchy, mm -hmm. then anything's possible, you know? Mm -hmm. But uh, the Giants are trending in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Um. The Eagle and Jalen Hurt to looking really good. Um, mm. You know, the Cowboys are a bunch of flaming pieces of dog poop. So, uh, I don't know. But uh, you know, if, if y'all play like y'all been playing for these last two weeks, mm -hmm. I think y'all be okay. Yeah, me too. Always got to look at look at the glass as how full. So, I think y'all got it. Uh, the defense have been playing really good. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, and Heineke lights out. And it's funny, we were talking before about how people switch up and change. Mm -hmm. I mean, but you still have those fans that pretty much, I was reading Twitter after the win, and somebody said, why do we do this to ourselves? Uh, we still suck. We should just tank the rest of the season. So we can get a, a good pick in the draft. Those type of fans, I just don't like. Like, there's no way that you can be call yourself a legit fan and want your your team to lose, no matter what sport it is. Like, yeah. these last two games, mm -hmm. and it really makes me think: Are these really Redskins fans? Like, or are they just people just sitting there and trolling in their basement? Because how could you not be happy? Exactly. Your I, football team went in there and, excuse me, beat Tom Brady mm -hmm. and the Buccaneers. Nobody, not even the biggest fan, thought that was possible. Exactly. Granted, y'all almost did beat them last year. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, but I feel like y'all got it. Uh, just shouldn't get too cocky, which I don't think they are. Uh, what you got? The Seahawks and who after that? I haven't looked at the rest. Uh, I've been terrible this year. I haven't really looked at the schedule like that. But uh, all I know is that we play the Seahawks uh, on Monday. Monday in that whole thing, we never do good on Monday night or Thursday night. Um, so you you really got to stop with all you do that crap all the time. We're not good at this. We're not good no, at no, that. No, no, like, no. I'm saying people will say that, but well, yeah, you're you're one of the people that say that. No. Um, no, I'm not. You're not. No. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. I've always never understood why people said that. You know, as if it's like some type of curse or something. Like, oh, we don't do good on my. I don't, I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess that must have been some other beautiful light skinned woman. That I says don't. We don't do good on Mondays. We don't do good on the fourth downs. We I don't do good on this. <laughs> well, sorry, my bad. Well, yeah, on two point, like uh, the the regular stuff, babe. Two two point conversions and things like that. The obvious stuff that I've seen that we're just we don't really do good in, but you know. But, you know, like I said, if if they can go out and beat Tom Brady or go out and beat uh, Cam Newton and, and the Panthers, then, you know, Monday night football, Thursday night football, it really doesn't even matter. Now, with my work schedule now, everything's a little bit different. But I can only imagine on, on uh, when they do football Fridays and they have fans calling in, mm -hmm. uh, giving their predictions of the game. Mm -hmm. I can only imagine – People saying that McCaffrey is going to run all over the team and they were going to lose. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure. I'm like, I would have to say ninety eight point nine nine percent sure that that's what happens. Because I remember when y'all played the Steelers last year, mm -hmm. and uh, before that game, I think y'all had once some game. I forgot who it was, and uh, they won. Everybody was calling and celebrating. And then one guy called and said, you know what? This team is so mediocre that we get happy when we, you know, beat teams that are not that good. He said, you know what? Say, I'll listen to you when, if you beat the Steelers. Beat the Steelers. And I think the guy called in and said, well, they are, they are a depleted team. This really didn't count. 
And I'm just like, you know. <laughs> this, whether you like it or not, this is a rebuild season. Mm-hmm. That's That's what it is, rebuild. And wasn't supposed to do anything last year. It's like, okay, it's okay not to expect much, mm-hmm. but not to expect your team to go out there and fight. Mm-hmm. I guess some people are just not going to be happy. And I'm not really seeing, you know, scrolling through Twitter. I'm not really seeing as much happy fans. As I, you know, there, there, there's a couple sprinkled here and there, but for the most part, it's negativity. And I I just don't understand. That's exactly what, remember when we were talking on here a while ago, and remember I, I was saying how just fans are just never happy. With, with this franchise, it's just, it's just never a happy medium. It's always, it, it, it just doesn't make sense to me. I mean, honestly don't even know what to say it's just that you know are are we being negative now and then we're seeing where this team will go I really don't even think that even matters because even if they made it to let's say hypothetically went to the playoffs did good it would still be some type of issue and I'm just like and that's exactly why I'm like y'all can just go to another team you don't have to sit here and waste energy but I think people just like to sit here just so they can have something to say about the team every single game. Like, I mean, it makes no sense. It's like, why? You know? Um, it just just does not make sense to me. And then especially when they get on social media and do that and just, just make outrageous statements or comments and stuff. And I'm just like. You know who went full-fledged traitor? Who was that? Chad Dukes. Mm. Like, I remember – Listen to him for years on 1067 The Fan. Mm-hmm. And I mean, he would go on like rants and like he would be out of breath. He'd be screaming at the top of his lungs. And ever since he got fired from 1067 The Fan for some racist stuff that he said, you don't, he's not wearing Redskin stuff no more. Mm-hmm. Everything that he posts is, is Titans. And I'm just like, yo, this is the same dude that had like Redskins uh, paraphernalia all around his house. He had the the hats on, uh, had a Redskins suit on and everything. Mm-hmm. And now everything is Tennessee Titans. And I'm just like, dang. So you get fired from the station because of something that you said. And he just goes against the whole city. Sounds like a typical fan <laughs> to me that is crazy <laughs> that's that's exactly what it sounds like you know and yes of course it is it, it's okay to just kind of be like you know whoever we're playing I don't you know to be like I don't know no but just to completely just be you make outrageous comments um and then after we win a game still continue to be negative like those are the people I'm talking about. I'm like y'all are like, like toxic, Gee. toxic to the, the the franchise. I mean, they can sit and say, "Well, you have you know the owner, you have the, the coach, or but have you or noticed the players or whatever? Have you noticed y'all won these these last two games, and especially against Tom Brady? You haven't heard anything about emails." Haven't heard anything about the sexual assault allegations with Dan Snyder, Snyder and the cheerleaders. That's what I'm saying. It's like a lot of people was like, oh, I'm never going to support this team if they change their names, you know. Mm-hmm. And everybody was hating the Washington football team. But winning cancels a lot of drama. If y'all go out two games in a row. If y'all go out and beat the Seahawks, which I think you will beat the Seahawks, I would say about 28 to 24. Mm -hmm. Like, 
it erases a lot of the stuff. When they was losing, they was talking about how dysfunctional the, 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 the team is and Chase Young is this and Chase Young is that and the defense is not playing up to par. This is a horrible team. Mm-hmm. Now, granted, some people on the radio are still saying that. But for the most part, y'all are getting love. And that's what I'm saying. When people say they wasn't going to support because of the name or they wasn't going to support because of this and Dan Snyder needs to sell the team, winning mm-hmm. deletes a lot of that from people's minds. Mm-hmm. You know? So yeah. I, I feel like anything's possible. But I know when I was driving home today and I was listening to it on uh, 980, mm-hmm. like my stomach was in knots, man, because <laughs> – when they didn't get that the touchdown and they was only up by six, I believe, right? Yeah. And Cam got the ball back. I was like, defense, come on. Then it was the penalty. Then it was all I was like, oh my God. And at one time I had actually turned off the radio mm-hmm. and it turned it back on. Then I heard D'Angelo Hall, Julie Donaldson all happy. He's like, We did it. We did it. I was like, Whew, man, cause yeah. I, I was I was nervous. I will say, you know, again, the politics with these referees, absolutely just laughable. And I mean, so sarcastic when I say that because I watched the game and I, it was that one where they called a flag on Deron Payne. And I'm just like, you got to be kidding me. Really? But they called a flag on him. But with there's uh, one play with Taylor Heineke. They took this man all the way back. I mean, they bent him all the way back. And I'm like, geez, they're going to break his his freaking spine. And he's trying to hold on to the ball while the other dude is trying to punch it out. I'm just like, so we're just just bending people every which away, you know, throwing them around and doing. I mean, (laughs) I thought that they were literally trying to hurt him. You know, it just it's football, babe. It's football. I but get I, I get it. it. You you like your quarterback and your players to be protected. But football is a very very brutal uh, brutal sport, and um, yeah. I do believe that they did miss some flags and stuff like that. But guess what? Mm-hmm. It don't really matter because y'all won. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, once again, it is a victory week, mm-hmm. and. Um, you got any uh, predictions for the game? What you think for the next game? I think I'm with you. What did you say, 28 to 24? Uh-huh. Yeah, I think I'm right there. Yeah, yeah. so we'll see. Because I love, look, I love Russell um, Wilson. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's a good team. Pete Carroll kind of gets him on earth where he'd be trumping on that gum on the sidelines. <laughs> but um, they haven't really been playing up to par. Um, yeah. And like I said, y'all play the way y'all been playing. Y'all can, uh, y'all can beat them because they're FedEx Field. They're playing here. So, I thought they are they playing because it says Washington versus Seattle. I could have sworn they said that it's going to play here, but maybe I'm wrong. But I thought that's what they said on the radio. Yeah, but, uh, you got your phone right there. Check it real quick. I don't. Well, I would say it doesn't really matter as long as we go out there and you know tear it up. So, uh, let's see. Well, ladies and gentlemen, while my wife is looking to see where the team is playing, um, I hope everybody had a great weekend, um, a great, and I wish everybody's having a great week when you hear this. Um, yeah, the, I think oh, that, where yeah. are they playing at? They're, they're playing FedEx, because the way that... I could have sworn, that's what I said. No, but on TV, on TV, it said Washington versus Seahawks. <laughs> oh, my God. Everybody tells me I'm wrong when I'm right. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, once again, we are out. Hail to the rescue! Thank you for tuning in. Hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And until then, be safe.